Hey, what's up? It's Kyle Henderson along with Andrew Bone. We're on the line with our recruiting analyst as we continue to break down the class of 2019 top prospects. This one's interesting. It's going to commit on Friday. Antonio Alfano out of New Jersey, six foot four, two hundred eighty-five pounds. Um, Bone, what's the latest on Antonio? And he's committing Friday, so give us uh, give us the backstory. Yeah, Antonio Alfano, uh, you know, ready to announce that decision uh, coming on Friday between Alabama, Georgia, and Penn State. And uh, you know, Penn State was kind of the uh, you know, it seemed like they were the early favorite. Um, you know, he had some uh, he had some good pr- relationships with uh, with coaches up there for for a very long time, and uh, you know, knows the uh, knows the area extremely well. Uh, but then uh, he's made a few visits down south, and uh, you know made a, made a second visit to Tuscaloosa um, earlier this spring. Uh, then w- ventured over to uh, to Athens to visit with uh, with Georgia. So you know, really likes both of those programs. But um, it would surprise me a little bit if he ends up at Georgia. I think it's between Alabama and Penn State, uh, just from talking to different people. But you know, really good kid. I mean, he's really kind of blown up over the course of the last, uh, you know, really ever since uh, almost his freshman year. People have known about this kid for a very, very long time, um, you know, from being a, a, a six foot three, 220 pound kid to now being 285 pounds, um, you know, probably, you know, maybe early on he thought he was going to end up being a linebacker and now he's, uh, now he's grown into a uh, you know, defensive lineman, defensive end, you know, defensive tackle. Um, you know, I could see him easily being a, a defensive end, um, especially at, a, at somewhere like Alabama or, or even at Georgia. Um, you know, their, their ends are just, uh, you know, their book ends are just huge, huge guys. And, um, you know, I could, I could definitely see him being an end in Alabama scheme, but, um, you know, there's a uh, there's a lot to like about him. I mean, he's, a, he's a good kid, good hard worker. Uh, he's got a great motor. Uh, has been uh, coached extremely well. He, he's moved around a little bit in high school. I think um, you know he's at his third high school um, in four years. But um, at each stop, he's been uh, been coached by some really really strong coaches. Um, up in the Northeast, so um, you know we'll see uh, we'll see what he, he ends up deciding to do come Friday. Seems like this kid has been on the radar for a very long time. Who's recruiting him, and when did Alabama's interest begin in Antonio? Well, I, you know, Alabama's interest began, uh, started pretty early in, in his recruitment. Um, you know, he's got a uh, you know, he's got some good connections down in down in Tuscaloosa, and, and I think Alabama, you know, really started noticing him when he was just a sophomore. And uh, you know, like I said, he's made a few visits to Alabama. Um, and, and now with uh, Josh Gaddis has uh, has been recruiting him, uh, you know, lately for the Crimson Tide, the new Alabama wide receivers coach who who used to be at Penn State. Um, you know, he's got a really good relationship with him, but you know, really good just good relationship with uh, with the whole coaching staff. Um, you know, talks to Nick Saban, uh, talks to uh, you know Coach Cool, Craig Kulikowski. Uh, he's got a good relationship with him. Uh, talks to Tosh Lapoy. Um, so, you know, he's got a good relationship with the coaches there. Um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, it's, uh, you know, it's really down to, uh, Alabama, Penn State and, and Georgia. Um, but, you know, continue to hear Alabama, Penn State, Alabama, Penn State. And I know he really liked Georgia a lot, but it, I think it really surprised a lot of people, um, if he ended up picking the Bulldogs, uh, over Penn State or Alabama. It's going to be one of those two schools. A lot of people think, oh, well, because Penn State is a um, is a little bit closer to home than Alabama is, I don't think that really matters much to him. I think um, yeah, I think he really likes. Um, I think his family really likes the structure at Alabama, the discipline. Um, you know, obviously Coach Saban and the coaches and and the whole staff just really stay stay on top of you the whole whole time you're you're in college. You, you know, you you expect their high expectations at Alabama. Uh, for you, not only on the field, but especially off the field, and they they want you to graduate. And I think that's what um, I think that's what Alfano and his family really like a lot about Alabama. Antonio Alfano will be committing Friday, um, six foot four, two hundred eighty-five pounds. Um, but I'm curious to to see what you say here. What what position do you see him projecting at the next level? Well, I think he's a I think he's a DN um, at Alabama. Uh, I don't think there's any doubt about that. I mean, he's a, like I said, he he's 
he keeps on growing year after year. I mean, you know, he went from, you know, 220 to 245 pounds to, to now almost 285 pounds. He's just a big kid. Um, and he's got a, uh, you know, got a great motor, very strong, very smart, um, you know, good technician on the defensive line, knows how to use his hands. So, um, you know, could he continue to grow and get bigger? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, he could end up being an interior guy uh, when all is said and done. But, you know, as of right now, I, I think he's going to end up being a, a DN. And that's kind of the position that uh, most schools are recruiting him to play. All right, so uh, everybody wants to know what you think here right now, Bone. Who, who does he pick on Friday? Well, I'm I'm going with Alabama, and you know, I think that he's. Um, I, like I said earlier, I think he really likes the program a lot. Very high interest um, in what all Coach Saban and, and that staff have to offer on and off the field. Um, you know, just from talking to different people, yeah, it seems like Alabama is is in the lead. But you know, would it surprise me if he goes to Penn State? No, I, I, I don't. I'm not saying it's a 100 percent, 90 percent lock that he's going to Alabama at all. Um, you know, there's definitely some other prospects who are out there who I, I feel very strongly that Alabama will sign who have yet to commit. Um, but if I had to pick a school right now for Alfano, I'm, I'm going with Alabama. A slight edge to Alabama, but um, but I think Penn State's definitely definitely in it and. Um, We'll see what happens. I will, as I said earlier, I would be surprised if if it is Georgia. Um, you yeah, know, that would surprise me. I think it. I think it's definitely Alabama or Penn State, though. So it's official. We are on another commitment watch this week for Friday. So stay tuned to BamaInsider dot com. We'll bring you all the coverage leading up to Friday. And of course, stick around as we got more class two thousand nineteen breakdowns coming your way on our YouTube channel, Bama Insider. And uh, all our coverage back on BamaInsider.com. Always look for the free 30-day trial. You can email me with account questions to Kyle at BamaInsider.com. For Andrew Bone and Kyle Henderson, we'll catch you soon on BamaInsider.com.